former Great Britain and Team Sky coach Shane Sutton has said he regarded using the therapeutic use exemption system Tuesday as a legitimate way to find marginal gains without breaking anti-doping rules. The comments, made in a documentary, which will be shown on BBC Two on Sunday evening, come in the week that UK anti-doping ended an investigation into alleged wrongdoing within British Cycling and Team Sky without bringing any charges. In comments reported on the BBC Sport website, Sutton says on the documentary if you've got an athlete that's 95% ready and that little 5% injury or niggle that's troubling them, if you can get that too to get them to 100%, then of course you would in those days. The business you are in is to give you the edge on your opponent. Ultimately, at the end of the day, it's about killing them off. But definitely don't cross the line and that's something we have never done. Asked if the use of Tuesday fit with Team Sky's mantra of marginal gains, Sutton says finding the gains might mean getting a two. Yes, because the rules allow you to do that. Sir Bradley Wiggins received medical exemptions to use the banned drug triamcinolin at the 2011 and 2012 Tour de France and the 2013 Giro d'Italia. Wiggins who became the first Briton to win the Tour in 2012 had said the drug was necessary to treat his pollen allergies. He had described UKAD's investigation which focused on the Asiatoon explained contents of a jiffy bag delivered to Team Sky at the Criterium du Dauphine in 2011 as a malicious witch hunt. Team Sky principal Sir Dave Brailsford also features in the documentary, and said the Tuesday granted to Wiggins were medically necessary and above board. I think if an athlete is hampered by an illness and there is a medication they can have and the two criteria is met then, yes, they should, Brailsford tells the program, in comments reported by The Times and The Guardian. The doctor came forward and said, I think we have an issue here. If Brad, the doctor and the consultant all say, that's what we think we should do, if the World Anti-Doping Agency and the International Cycling Union signed this off and it was all absolutely clear and above board, then I was comfortable with that. Sutton is now head coach of China's track team, having left British cycling in April 2016 following allegations of discrimination and bullying.